Hello everyone. In this section, I'm going to talk about how can we publish our website on the web server. And here I'm going to talk about one server called GoDaddy. So at first, you should go to this website, godaddy.com. And inside this website, you should create an account. So here, you can go to the sign in and start create your account if you don't have any account, okay? I already have account, but at first, when you go to the GoDaddy, you have a lot of services. One of those services is the hosting service. So you can take any one of those services, like hosting, and select web hosting. And as you can see here, you have either Linux plan for Linux server or Windows plan if you need a Windows server. And you can select any one of this, like economy, deluxe, or ultimate. So let me show you now how can I use a GoDaddy. So sign in because I have already has account here and I'm going to access using my username and password. Click on sign in. When you go to this website, we have a lot of options. One of those options is your domain, which is the name of your website. And another option is the web hosting, which has the control panel. So here, click on manage. And now let's click on Blesk admin. So we can go to the control panel, which has a lot of options like creating database, uploading your files, adding some SSL for security and so on. Now here we have two options. One of them is the file manager, which is used to upload your files and the database to create online database. So for example, let's go to the database. As you remember, in the fifth and sixth part, when we connect to a database, we always used localhost as server, root as username, and this username without any database and uh, or without any password and the name of the database. But if you connect online, you should create all those items like username and password and database name on the server. So here we have an option called add new database. So when you go here for add new database, let's call this website, for example, online web, for example, I'm going to call this database as online web. Here you can select either MySQL or SQL server. Here I'm going to use MySQL. What's the username? Let's call this username as, for example, Yazan Web. And let's create a password like Yazan Web 2018. And here also Yazan Web 2018. We can see here the username and password, and then let's click on OK. It will take some time to create this database. As you can see here now, we have a database called Online Web, and this is the username, and the password was Yazan Web 2018. But what is the server name? So instead of using localhost, you can use this one as the server. Now, how can we create a PHP file, connect to this database, and how can we upload these files to the server? This is what we are going to talk about in the next video. So, see you in the next video.